Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the day after Christmas and we are beating those sort of post-holiday blues where you kind of feel a little bit let down that the holiday season has come to an end by shooting today's video. This is my December 2020 favorites video. We're covering some clothing items, food items, accessories, and of course beauty. Um, so jumping right in, item number one on my December 2020 favorites list is this guy right here. I posted about him on Instagram when I first got it. This is the Nordic Beach Wrap, which is sold by a small boutique out of Cleveland, Ohio, called Yogi's Closet Boutique. I will link it down below for you. But it is just the softest, most comfortable, warm wrap that I have ever owned. I love what they do with the sleeves here, how it kind of tapers, and then it's uh, fitted, so you're not constantly pulling them up out of your way. I'm never inconvenienced by it. I wear this kind of like a house coat. I reach for it more often than I reach for my bathrobe in the evenings and first thing in the early mornings. This is in the shade Emerald Forest. It comes in lots of different shades and colors. Um, a lot of them are sold out right now, being immediately after the holiday season, but I will link this down below. Keep an eye out for them to start restocking because they really are just amazing. I bought one for my sister for Christmas as well, and um, just so, so soft. It's like a hug in a sweater. It's absolutely amazing. So this is item number one, has topped out my favorites for the month of December. I'm going to take it back off because it's basically the same color as the couch that I'm sitting on, and I feel like I'm going to disappear camouflage style. Item number two is a beauty brand, and this will come as no surprise to anybody. I feel like I've been talking about this brand all month since I first got their products to try. It is Jones Road Beauty. It's not one particular product from Jones Road Beauty, but they are at the top of my December favorites list. They were also included in my Beauty to Beat in 2021 list, which I just posted for you guys before Christmas. I also have a Jones Road Beauty video where I reviewed these products and demoed all of them for you. I will link that up on the screen. I just can't say enough good things about them. I feel at this point like I am repeating myself, so go and check out some of those other videos if you want details. But from face makeup to eye makeup to lip makeup, the products that I have are just incredible. So no surprise, Jones Road Beauty is in my December 2020 favorites. Item three on my list of December 2020 favorites is by the jewelry company Maison Miru. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video for you guys about their new push pin flat back stud earrings. Those are being launched by the company very, very soon. You can go and check out that video to see more about them and go check out Maison Miru's Instagram page as well to learn more and be alerted when those earrings are, are officially launched in the 20 gauge size. But basically, they are push pin lobe stud earrings that have a flat push pin on the back so you don't have that post and the chunky back sticking out of your lobe piercing, making it uncomfortable to lay down or sleep or wrap over the ear headphones around your ears. So they're a really, really good product. They are the earrings that I have been doing my ear party with for the past several months. I, re I really do live in these earrings. I don't take them off except for my illusion earring here, which is a personal favorite because it looks like a conch piercing, but it's not. It's an illusion. It's a lobe piercing that you just flip up and pop around the cartilage ah, into the into the conch of your ear, so it looks like a conch piercing. I've confused a few family members and friends with that, asking me when I got this new piercing, so they really are as good as they look. Go and check out the company. I recommend them just across the board, but in particular this month, those new pushpin flat back earrings. Sticking with accessories for a moment before we jump back into beauty products, I wanted to share with you guys some sunglasses from a company that I have been loving. I've had a few pairs by this company for the last couple of years. I always get compliments on one pair in particular that I wear. So this month I bought a few more pairs and I wanted to show you my favorites. So the company is Key Australia. Um, every time you buy a pair of their sunglasses, they come with this really nice um, sort of snake skinny looking white envelope, zip envelope to put your sunglasses in. I like bigger, chunkier sunglasses, so I purchased their little triangular tri-fold um, sunglasses case. This I think was only 10 or $15. So the sunglasses themselves, the reason I love them is their website has this really cool feature where basing the size of your face off of a credit card, they'll have you hold a credit card up against your forehead to get kind of that um, measurement. 
they let you virtually try on any of the sunglasses. They also provide really detailed measurements in terms of how high it is, how wide it is, how far it is away from your ear, what the bridge measurement is, because they're all a little bit different. So if you order a pair of sunglasses that is way too big for the bridge of your nose and they're constantly sliding off, you're gonna hate them. So it gives you an opportunity to really kind of dig into what's gonna look good on you and what's gonna fit you before you buy it. So. I loved that, especially because after I used that feature and I bought two pairs of sunglasses with it, they were spot on. So I just wanted to show you guys what my favorite ones have been recently. This is one that I shared on Instagram a little while ago. This is the uh, model Bankroll with the gold side and I purchased mine in brown. But this particular style is called a shield because it's kind of flattened across the front there and it's very blocky and I just feel like these fit my face really quite well. Maybe you disagree, but I really like them. So this is the model Bankroll and I don't actually remember what these other two are called, but I will show them to you here and then link them for you down below. I think this one might be called Applause. I could be wrong about that, but they reminded me of the sunglasses or goggles that Lady Gaga was wearing on that one album, maybe Fame, a long time ago. I don't remember, but I loved these ones as well. Same thing with that very, um, the shield style, and if I'm not mistaken, these ones might be polarized lenses. Oh, hold for applause. That is the name of it. It says right there for me on the arm. And then the last pair I wanted to show you guys, I bought these ones because of the studs and the tortoise shell frames. Um, these ones, if I can trust that the name of the sunglasses are inside of the arm, is called Hindsight. And these ones are a little bit wider on my face, um, just based on the snugness of the arms over my ears but still loving it. Love the shield shape, love the consistency. This one, I was talking about the bridge measurement here. This one does not have an adjustable bridge and it's a little bit wider than some of the others, but again, I knew that going in. Very accurate descriptions on the website. So these are the Key Australia sunglasses that I have fallen in love with and I would just buy so many of them if I could. I will link the ones that I have purchased in the description box below for you guys and you should definitely go and check them out. Okay, let's bounce back over to the world of skincare and beauty. I want to talk about this product right here. This is Dr. Brandt's Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. I have used one other Dr. Brandt exfoliant. That one was the Microdermabrasion Exfoliant. It came in a black bottle. Um, this one was something that I purchased with the FabFitFun Winter Box this year. I have a discount code for you guys for FabFitFun. That is always provided in the description box below. So if you're not familiar or you don't have a subscription, you can go check that out and save a couple bucks. But this is something that I bought from their add-ons, some of those exclusive sales that they give to box members if you want to throw a few extra things in your box. So I got a great, great price on it because Dr. Brandt is a little bit more expensive when it comes to a skincare product. But the reason that I love exfoliants by this company is that they are so baby fine without being rough. I feel like when you have a, an exfoliant that isn't a chemical exfoliant, so for example, something that uses some kind of an acid that's a liquid that you're going to put on a cotton ball and just rub across your face, something that is a texturized exfoliant where you're actually using the texture of the product to scrub off those dead skin cells, some of them can be very rough. And that, of course, is very difficult for somebody like me who has sensitive skin that is prone to redness. So I love how gentle these exfoliants are on my skin, and yet they are still highly effective. So this one I will link for you guys down below. I have been using it every about once a week for the past six or seven weeks, and I really love how it makes my skin feel. So I will link this one for you below. A couple of other beauty products I have tested for you guys this month that made it into my December favorites. These are kind of honorable mentions from the Beauty to Beat in 2021 video that I did. These are not products that knocked other favorites of mine off the pedestals that I have them on, but they were very, very good and they are products that I have been continuing to reach for throughout the month since I tried them. So first up is the By Terry Cover Expert Foundation. You guys have been hearing me talk about By Terry more and more frequently as I try more and more of their products products. It's just a really quality brand. At this point, I think I have three products from them that I use consistently and really, really adore. I think they actually have an after Christmas sale going on on their website right now. I will look into that for you guys and link this below. You can also go and check out the full wear test and review of this foundation to see it in action in the video that I did for that. I will pop that up on the screen here for you. Come on up. I know. 
there you are. Come on. That's the other thing about these Nordic beach wraps. If you have kittens, cats in the house, they will want to sit on it. It's the coziest blanket you'll have in the house. Last beauty company I want to mention. It's not just one product in particular, but I tested a few products earlier this month from the company Inglot, including eyeshadows, bronzer, highlighter, and a foundation. So I just wanted to go ahead and grab the Z palette. I popped some of those products into for the sake of discussing them. Their bronzer has probably been my favorite product that I purchased in that haul and full face um, trial of their makeup, but their eyeshadows have been really good too, and I have reached for their YSM, which I think again stands for uh, Young Skin Magic or Young Skin Something Foundation. Um, I've continued to reach for these products all month. The bronzer actually did make it into my Beauty to Beat in 2021 video because it has become my go-to bronzer. It's that good. It's affordable, big bang for your buck in terms of color payoff, and it just has kind of an extra little bit of a shine to it. So you can skip highlighter if you want to and just end up with a beautiful beachy glow. So Inglot, a, a brand that's new to me, a lot of their makeup is clean makeup, vegan makeup. Um, so like some of the eyeshadow colors, for instance, aren't, but a lot of them are. And just the fact that clean makeup, I think, is really not only rising into the spotlight, but good clean makeup, good vegan makeup. Historically, I feel like vegan makeup and clean makeup products have been really hard to execute well so that you want to buy them and use them over your more chemical artificial beauty products, but Inglot did an amazing job. So again, I did a full face of makeup using Inglot products. I'll pop a link to that up on the screen for you guys so you can go check out all the products that I used from Inglot and get my thoughts on how they performed. And last but not least for my December 2020 favorite, this is something that I did for myself for Christmas that was kind of just a special treat and I wanted to share it with you guys because frankly I forgot how incredible they were. So I purchased myself a box of the Champagne Truffles by Toysher Chocolates. Um, Toysher Chocolates is based in Zurich in Switzerland but there are some US locations I in particular ordered from Toysher Chocolates Chicago and their Champagne Truffles are just their signature truffle. It is filled with dark chocolate ganache and at the center is a Dom Perignon champagne cream. And you don't think that you're going to be able to get a really robust champagne flavor in a cream in the center of a chocolate confection, but you can. And Toysher does it absolutely beautifully. So in terms of just a luxury indulgence to treat yourself and just fully enjoy every second of the experience from the purchase to waiting for it to arrive to opening it because they were packaged so delicately and so beautifully and with such care that it really made me feel like my purchase was worth it and appreciated by the company and truthfully they are the best chocolates that I have ever had and it has been a very long time since I've had them. So that is going to be it for my December 2020 favorites video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and that you're looking forward to a great new year, whatever that looks like for you this year, and that we're looking forward to the winter months together. So I appreciate your viewership as always and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.